2015 is a special year for the Welsh Guards. Um, it's our centenary year. We were formed 100 years ago. And uh, to celebrate our centenary, we're going to run uh, 100 marathons in 19 different countries uh, that we've served in in the last 100 years. On Sunday, the, the, battal the, the regiment en masse are moving down to Cardiff and conducting the St David's Day Parade. Every year we, we hold a parade in memory of St David's Day. Um, so we're doing that this year in Cardiff. Um, so it'll be great. I mean, it's, it's, it's one, of the f one of the few times that we've been in Wales on St David's Day. Um, the inaugural marathon of Welsh Guards 100 is starting on St David's Day. So the, the 15 runners from the battalion will be starting at the Millennium Centre and then running around Butte Park a few times, joining on to the back of the, the St David's Day 10k race um, and then coming back in to a reception at the Millennium Centre. There are 2,500 veterans involved um, and as well as the whole regiment there. It's going to be a great day in terms of families, veterans and, and a great start for Welsh Guards 100. It's part of our company's founding values to give back to the communities in which we operate and you know, we've, uh, we've worked with the, uh, the Welsh Guard for quite some time now with the Walk on Wales charity. Uh, last year we got heavily involved and uh, you know, provided the transportation for the uh, charity leg this time last year. And it's something that we're quite passionate about. You know, it's a very worthy charity. It's uh, giving back to uh, a bit of help and assistance to the uh, veterans from uh, previous conflicts. And like I say, part of our company's founding values is giving back to the uh, environment, the, uh, the regions that we operate within. And, trying to get involved in the local community so this is just a way for us to be able to do that. Do you think more local businesses should be getting involved with charities in this kind of way? Uh, yeah I think if, if you're in a position to do that, not everybody's in a position to do that, but if you're in a position to give back then I think it's, it's a, it should be you know, a, a, should be one of your priorities, it should be something that you're really keen to do. I, th I think it's you know for me and for our company we like to try and lead lead the way in in those types of areas you know it's we do a lot of work uh, in the local region you know we, we do a lot with um, various different charities and you know, we, we're just always keen to try and get involved and do what we can the welsh girls charity um, looks to support all of those that have uh, been affected by conflict whether in recent times or you know stretching back throughout the welsh girls history it supports um, the families the bereaved families and those that have been wounded as, as a result of service to the country. So it must be a charity that's quite close to your heart personally. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've done two tours of Afghanistan, um, one with the Welsh Guards, and you know it's, 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 it's a great charity and it really does do great work supporting people um, who are suffering as, as a consequence of, of serving their country. Yeah, it's a great charity. Anyone that has a, a, a connection with the Welsh Guards or sympathises with, with, with what we're doing in terms of our charity work, supporting veterans in Wales, um, can, can get involved. It's really easy. It's, we're running marathons in Wales and, and all over the world. Uh, the primary focus on, on, on getting public involvement is in Wales. Um, so we're running marathons across Wales and encouraging people to organise their own marathons. Um, we've got a website that will explain what's going on and advertise the events. Um, so, so it should be a really great project.